now let's go and add keys. For that I come to the index.html section. Now below the title I link the CSS file we created from the fifth line. For that link rel equal double quotation. Style sheet is typed inside it. We are going to link the CSS code we made there. For that href equal double quotation, the CSS file name is given as style.css inside it. This tag is closed here by using forward slash and angle bracket. Now I open the body tag from the seventh line below the closed head tag. Now along that, we can see that the background color we have given is visible in the preview section. If this color does not appear, click the refresh icon. Now I open a new div tag from line 8. Now we are going to add the class created in the style sheet. For that, in the div tag itself, class equal double quotation and container is given inside it. Now open an another div tag from the ninth line. Now let's add the class we created called keys inside this div tag. Now this div close tag is also taken to the ninth line. Now in between these two tags, the letter corresponding to the key is typed as B. Now copy the code B prepared in the ninth line and paste it in the tenth line. Since there is no corresponding letter for this key, I remove this letter B. Now copy the code in the tenth line and paste it up to the twentieth line. When we paste it this way, we can create the keys of the piano very easily. Now let's change the pasted keys as we want in the eleventh line. I enter the letter A in front of this closed div tag. In the lines 12, 13, 14, I do not enter letters and keep them empty like this. Now in the 15th row, the letter G is entered. In the 16th now, the letter F is entered. Keep the 17th row empty and insert the letter D again in the 18th row. Keep the 19th row empty and insert the letter C again in the 20th row. Here we end the sections that we need to prepare in the index page. Now we have finished making the keys of the piano. Let's see the preview now. Now click the preview button below and open preview in new tab. You may see an output like this on a grey background. 